we have to attach the Y motor to so-called Y bracket so that we can then incorporate the Y bracket assembly into the frame of the jelly box itself. Notice that the Y motor connector is right against this notch. Let's put it together. For this step, you'll need a Y bracket, looks like this, the Y motor with the Y label on it, M3 hex key, you'll need four M3 by 12 bolts, and four serrated washers. Look at the Y bracket. It says Y motor adjoins right here to this side. So do that. Take the Y motor and adjoin it right there to that side. Then turn it around and put in your bolts and serrated washers. The efficient way to do this always is to put the washers on all the bolts and then put all the bolts in instead of one by one. And here I also want to demonstrate how to properly tighten bolts in parts so that you don't get alignment issues. The first thing is first insert all your parts. Don't tighten anything. And then go around and make everything just loosely tight. And now for the final step, start with one part, start with one bolt, tighten it a bit, and then go diagonal and tighten that one a bit. Pick another one, tighten it a bit, diagonal, tighten it another bit. So you're going to be going in small increments all around the part. This way you're giving the pieces a chance to self-adjust. And you will not get any misalignment. Also, for the acrylic pieces, you can crack these if you tighten the bolts too much. In general, you should only use the short side of your M3 hex key shaft. That gives you enough leverage. That's it.